Got Western U.S. Amateur Championship Boxing coming up on ESPN Saturday, July 18th, sanctioned by the AAU. It's an open championship. Any winner of an 81 Senior Open Championship may compete. Regional, state, armed forces champions will be in action. 11 weight classes and uh, strong amateur clubs like the Everett Firefighters are going to be represented as well. Boxers from 16 to 34. The Amateurs Western Championship Saturday, July 18th, 7 o'clock ESPN. This is round number six. I have Sanchez comfortably ahead. He's the champion. I gave only the second round to Nico Perez. We're at the Olympic here in Los Angeles. I'm Tom Kelly. With me is the former number one contender for heavyweight honors, Jerry Quarry. And you're looking in as the featherweight champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez in the light blue, battles a tough game, Nicky Perez, the North American featherweight champion. They're over the weight at 129 and a half pounds, the title not at stake. Pretty good left hook by Nicky Perez there. He takes a jab in response to it. Each man in turn has given the other his best shot. Perez shows the side effects of having been nailed more often. He's got a mouse under each eye and a slight cut in the vicinity of the eyelid on his left eye. Neither man has been down, but Perez has been staggered a couple of times. Referee Larry Rosadie and a good doing a good job and he almost stumbled there as Nicky Perez kind of backed into it. Sanchez looks unmarked, unruffled. Minute and a half remaining in the sixth round. I told you earlier, Tom, that uh, Perez was hurt very, very much in the first round, but it's been very difficult for Sanchez to hurt him since then. If you don't get a guy out early sometimes, or sometimes you never get rid of him. Good right hand by Perez, caught the champion, but he rushes to the side, keeps coming on. Sanchez with the left, Perez dancing away from the right. Less than a minute remaining in round number six. Crowd's kind of waiting in anticipation for somebody to really land a shot that's going to do some damage. Swings to the southpaw style now, does Salvador Sanchez. Now coming out of the eye on the left side, the eyelid or the eyebrow of, of Nico Perez. It appears to be in the eyelid. I'm not really sure, Tom, but it appears to be there. Sanchez to the attack as the bell closes round six. Here in Los Angeles, Wilfredo Gomez, the uh, super bantamweight champion behind us, has been besieged by autograph fans who have come in to get the autograph of the champion. He'll be in action, trying for the featherweight title, currently held by this man right here, Salvador Sanchez. That's the fight coming up in August. Sanchez tonight going against Nicky Perez, a very tough competitor, the North American featherweight title holder. We're in round number seven. Jerry, did you think it'd be this far along? Well, uh, Nicky Perez is a tough fighter. You don't go 51 and three without uh, being a good fighter. So he, he's in with a good one in Salvador Sanchez, but he's proving his merit too. That cut that Perez is uh, battling is in the eyelid on the left side. And uh, cuts, of course, in the eyebrow and in the eyelid are always dangerous for fighters and always uh, the risk of a fight being stopped because of that kind of a cut. A cut on the cheek or below the eye is just a cut. I think uh, Sanchez is getting some much needed work in preparation for his fight with, with, with Wilfredo Gomez. And he's not in such an easy fight here with Nicky Perez. 
hand by Perez. Really was caught on the right glove by Sanchez, who thoroughly is tough to hit. He's a stylish type boxer. He's unruffled, very calm, cool, and collected in there. If you can look, Tom, he's still got a pretty face. Well, yeah, although the, the nose tells you what his profession is, uh, it's hard to hide that badge of honor, Jerry Corey. Very hard indeed. Most assuredly. Yeah. We're in round seven, a minute and a half remaining in this, the seventh round. Perez has been very impressive. He was nailed early on in the first round, did not go down. Has fought his way back. That right hand uh, just did miss connections thrown by Sanchez. Caught him wide on the side of the head. I would think that Sanchez Corner would tell him if this round does finish, that Sanchez Corner would probably tell him, hey, try to get him out of there. Anything can happen in a fight like this. And he seems to be pressing it much more now. He is applying continuous pressure to Perez. But you can't get careless to this gentleman has 28 knockouts in his 51 wins. And you've got to bear in mind it's an all or nothing shot here for Perez. What a feather in his cap if he could put Sanchez oh. away. And it put him very much in line for a title shot himself. Immediately. And of course it would have a debilitating effect on the upcoming <laughs> signed and set bout between Gomez and Sanchez. So ever watchful, ever alert is the champion. Kind of like being Marshall at Dodge City. You're the last guy they want to meet and the first guy they look for when you're champion. You just there's the bell that ends round seven. Good bout between uh, Nico Nicky Perez out of South Tucson. The featherweight champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez. Sanchez has been very effective against a very tough fighter. Perez ranked 18th among the featherweights. He was ranked 5th among the junior featherweights. Right hand lead by Sanchez scored. Perez has the cut over the right eye, but his corner's done a remarkably fine job. Jimmy Montoya and Beto Martinez over there in the corner have done an outstanding job. Keeping that cut from being a, a factor in this fight. Sanchez chasing his man, missing with the right. I think Sanchez Corners told him, hey, let's try to get this guy out of here. We don't need to take any chances. Maybe easier said than done, Jerry. I can understand this. This gentleman has a pretty good record. It might be very difficult to do that. Kind of a quiet round here this eighth. Minute 56 remaining in round number eight an action-packed card tonight. We've not had any knockouts. The two Areola brothers, uh, both victors. Memo, the older of the two. Cipriano. So they'll have a pleasant weekend. And we've got Sanchez now beginning to connect. Putting some combinations together against Perez. Well, Sanchez is hard to hit, but so has Perez been. He's not really been hit with a solid shot since about the third round. Sanchez really pressing the action right now. I think he's trying to land the good shot. You can almost feel the impending doom. The crowd getting a bit impatient. Uneasy is the head that wears the crown. You've got to live up to so many things. You've got to prove to everybody every time they see you that you're the greatest fighter in your division. And the crowd wants a lot out of Sanchez tonight. They want him to put Perez away as befitting a champion. And Perez has got some ideas in that regard of his own. Jerry Quarry said, not that easy to hit. He got nailed in the first round, and maybe while it woke him up, it might have given Sanchez a feeling of, hey, I can nail this guy anytime I want. Next time he looked for him, he was harder to find, Jerry. Well, if you can hit one shot, then you know what to look for. 
20 seconds remaining in this the eighth round. I have Sanchez comfortably ahead on my scorecard. He's really getting a good workout against a very tough customer. He just can't seem to land that big shot on his chin. This guy's elusive. That's the end of round number eight. Gentlemen, you're uh, trying to look through his back. He's the man in charge of Salvador Sanchez. Jackie McCoy, who managed five world champions. Benny Giorgino, who had champion Danny Little Red Lopez. I just caught their eye a moment ago, and uh, Jackie McCoy pointed into the corner where young uh, Nico Perez is, and he said, very good fighter. And that's great praise coming from a man who had five champions. And of course, it's quite obvious this Perez knows his way around a, a squared circle. He is a tough cook. Well, he's proved his merit with a 51 and 3 record. He's stayed in there with Salvador Sanchez, who is one of the better fighters around today. We're in the ninth round, uh, scheduled for 10. Now they're kind of toe to toe with each other here. Sanchez is unmarked, uh, almost unruffled. He does have just a slight mouse under his left eye, but aside from that, really no. Uh, they have totally controlled that cut, too. He had a little bit of blood. Nicky Perez had a little bit of blood coming out of the left eye, but they've controlled that. It hasn't hampered him at all. He's got a mouse under each eye, though, that uh, he'll be looking at tomorrow morning when he goes to shave. Either man's been down. Perez was jolted in the first round, survived, but looked like an early finish to the fight. And here he is, still going strong in the ninth round. Yeah, I, I think I can remember saying in the first round, I didn't think it was going to last that yeah. long. And here we are, rolling along with round number nine, a minute and 40 seconds remaining. The crowd a bit impatient. Left hand by Perez. Sanchez, uh, of course, would dearly love to put his man away. I'm sure he would, but I think he's getting the work he needs to prepare himself for Wilfredo Gomez. He's gotten hit with a couple of solid left hands here in this exchange. Perez gets nailed with the right. I think he opened that cut up again, too, Tom. I think you're right, Jerry. Some blood there, just over the left eye and the eyelid, under the eyebrow. Corner's done a remarkable job with it, oh. though. It hasn't been a factor. To say they have done an excellent job. Less than 50 seconds to go in round number nine. Perez and Sanchez. I think Sanchez seems to be content to go 10. He maybe he needs the work to prepare himself. Left might have been a little low. Perez gave no indication, though. It has been a gentlemanly fight. There have been a couple of occasions when one fighter has stumbled. Uh, right hand by Perez. A good right hand by Perez. Good exchange, toe to toe. Neither man asking nor giving any quarter. Now quite a bit of blood coming from the eye of Perez. And the bell will close the round number nine. All right, seconds are busy working over there, two uh, gladiators here as we get set for the final round, number 10 coming up. Here's a look at a right hand thrown by... Nicky Perez, right? Perez, oh, yeah, nailed right. him too, didn't he? But did you notice he kind of saw that punch coming and pulled away from it as it was coming? Well, he's a great boxer, this Sanchez. Tough to hit. May not have the most solid punch in the division, or the division has ever seen, but he's a classic boxer, he's a, a good hitter, and he's the champion, he's defended five times, he's lost one and had a draw in 36 professional fights. He's a dandy as the Salvador Sanchez. Take a very good man to beat him, make no mistake oh, no, about it. No question about that, and as he has proven, he can take a heck of a punch too. Right hand by Sanchez, set a shower, a spray off the head of Perez. Tenth round. Our card running just a little long on our allotted time on ESPN tonight, but we hope you've enjoyed the action. We think it's been an action-packed night of boxing. It's, it's uh, this is 
has been an excellent bout for people to watch as far as the boxing ability of fighters. These two featherweights are really extremely good fighters. Pretty good flow of blood now, Jerry, coming from that left eye of Perez. He uh, really opened it up this time. Sanchez has got it open pretty good, and referee Larry Rosadilla is looking it over very, very closely now. He glances at the clock to see what time is left. Well, he knows that uh, he doesn't want to stop it at this point. Oh, no, he wants game. to let it go its course. Now he's going to have to take a look at it. There's a lot of blood coming out now. No, he says it's all right. Keep going. Minute 29 to go. Rosadilla is a very experienced referee. He knows what he's doing in there. And if, if there were any danger, he would bring the doctor in. Minute 18 to go. Sanchez has um, the look of an angel about him a little bit, almost as though he's going to smile all the time. <laughs> almost as if there's a smile waiting at the corner of his mouth that never quite comes, but it looks as though it's there. One minute to go in the tenth and final round. Nice left hand by Sanchez. Nice combination. Oh, good left hook. It hurt. Perez might be in trouble. 47 seconds remaining in the fight. Unless he gets hit again with another good shot, I think he will weather this one now. And a game and gallant effort by Perez, who's in trouble here in round number 10. On his bicycle now, going to have to jab and go. Crowd wants Sanchez to put him away. Less than half a minute. 24 seconds. As the a lot fireworks of blood now. are going off in the, in the ring, they're also going off in the arena. A lot of blood flowing now from the left eye of Perez. Ten seconds. Perez still game, still throwing punches. It's been a great fight. Perez has been outstanding. Sanchez is a champion. No mistake about it. There's the bell and the fight is over. Salvador Sanchez, quite easily we think, scoring a unanimous decision. Perez with a very gallant effort. We'll show you some more action from round 10. As they battle away, Sanchez reopening that cut. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. I'll read the point totals. Referee Larry Rosadina scores it 100 to 91. Judge Lou Filippo sees it 98-92. And Judge Dick Young, 100 to 90. To the winner, Salvador Sanchez! And ladies and gentlemen, the next stop for Sanchez will be August 21st. And he'll be meeting this man, the WBC Super Bantamweight Champion in the world, Wilfredo Gomez! Climbing into the ring is Wilfredo Gomez, and Gomez is in the ring now as he squares off with Sanchez. They'll meet August 21 in Las Vegas for the featherweight championship of the world. They square off right now. And I tell you, Gomez is ready. We may have a little preview of that fight right now, suit and all. <laughs> They're more than a little serious, and Cristobal Rosas comes between the two. Well, it should be quite a fight. There they are. I'm Tom Kelly. This is Jerry Quarry. Always great to see you and work with you. Always Were you impressed with Sanchez tonight? Very much. Very much.